This is my do-it-yourself CNC joystick. It's built with arcade parts. This is an LS30 joystick, 8-way rotary. It's from an Akari Warriors. Blue push button, dial, volcano button, two more buttons, an 8x8 matrix, a 7-segment LED display. It's a USB joystick. powered by an AT Mega 88 implementing USB and firmware instead of hardware. I've added a uh, external ISP jack to the device so I could program it without having to disassemble everything. This screen button is the e-stop button. Pressing it locks the control panel and issues a reset to the control software. The light goes out indicating that the system is not ready. Pressing it again turns the green light back on and we're good to go. The joystick has four modes controlled by the blue button. Right now we're in the x-axis, y, z, and f stands for feed rate. While in the X or the Y mode, the joystick controls the X and Y axis, and the Z controls the Z axis. While in the X mode, the rotary function of the joystick will do fine-tune adjustments along the X axis, or you can do fine-tune along the Y, or fine-tune along the Z. And the dial here controls the speed. Okay, now, so to align the bit to my workpiece, I will uh, use the joystick to get close to where I want to be. Now I'll use the fine-tuned rotary slowly lower the uh, bit right above the workpiece. A little bit off on the Y. Oops, wrong way. So that looks pretty good. The red button will zero any access. Zero the X access, zero the Y, and zero the Z. In the feed mode, the red button will reset the feed rate and the rotary function of the joystick can be used to increase or decrease the feed rate. Holding the green button down and moving the joystick to the left will start the cycle. Moving the joystick to the right will issue a feed hold. Alright, well that's pretty much it. Mode, speed, e-stop, zero. Forgot to mention the green button is regenerate toolpath. For more info and build information, check out my website, rototron.info. Thanks.